Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy here, Abdurrahim from Tech One Two. In this video, guys, I got for you something interesting. What is it? I got for you Adobe. So Adobe they released Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. You may ask me, what about its features? So for further info, let's get dig into it. So on this video, guys, of today, we can design one poster, and we can design. Uh, we can see the features of the colors inside the Adobe and we can see many more features inside of it. So not only that we're reviewing it, but at least we do one task on it. So for further info, yeah, let's out. Now on the Photoshop side, as you can see guys, we're having a learn button, we are having a work button. Now on learn button, you can try out new features and many more features like exploring, retouching options, you can teach you up some Adobe Camera Raw as filter and many more. Now we're only dealing with this part over here. Now this part over here is getting started with it. It gives you um, this layout, which is a normal layout, just like the CC 2017. You can click on create new and you have a panel of recent. Recent is the place whereby I usually uh, any kind of um, art artwork or art space or workspace I've done here I, ca I can get it on the reason so as I can use it if I've already used it already so on the print side we're going here then what we'll do here today we are doing a little bit of one poster design now I can click here on the A4 I can select between the orientation if I want my poster to be on the landscape and orientation you can select the orientation side so this one is portrait this one is landscape and I can even use artboard so if you want to use artboards you can use artboards but we ain't using Apple we're using only layers now we're having a resolution of um, 300 which is great now I can click on the create button and we are having a la a portrait um, layout now i can go to the edit menu sorry the image then i can go to the image rotation i can rotate this one to 180 still not changing now i can go to the image rotation i can click the 90 clockwise now 90 degrees clockwise it changes the layout and the layout will be looking just like this one now since it has already been looking like this one now the designs how we can design it we're designing a simple um, poster now I can click here on the shape I just want a simple one now first of all I can find an image this is the image which we're going to use it now we can rotate the image we can rotate this way um, so as it can be landscape now we can attach it here then I'll show you the magic stuff about the I'll show you the magic stuff about this one this image which we're having here now we can adjust it this way now since we are having this image out here now we want to create something which is simple very very simple but understandable you can resize the rectangle and we can keep it somewhere here then we can keep it here then we can duplicate it uh, so duplicate it is Control J or CMD plus J. Now we can keep it somewhere here. We can um, resize this object, this one. Keep it here. So as we can adjust it. Now I can change the opacity, and this one I can change opacity a little bit. Opacity um, there. Now we can do some blurry. Now go to the filter, blur. Now selecting the Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur makes the background becomes blurry as if you're shooting a picture using a DSLR camera uh, Something like that, which is very simple now click here. Then we're having a simple uh, Design yet now we can click here and add our features like um, I can do Abdul Rahim 112 I can select that then I can go here then I can Keep it here somewhere here um, You I can, can add some white up now you see the color is not changing now I can shift my my layer here since it's already created I can keep it at the front yeah boom that looks good now I can add another kind of stuff like graphic graphics designer a simple poster which gives me information about what I do now as a graphic designer you can create your own post poster which somebody can understand what you do that's very useful so if you want to use like portfolio or something which is very great so that somebody can understand 
whatever you're doing now keeping a little bit of font now by using a font you can i usually download my font on the da font so i find that font is very great um they have very mint font out there so as you can go and check it out guys now here we can add a little bit of this design we can select this type of a color which is a little bit white then we can change the opacity now changing the opacity or fill you can just select by doing shift plus 5 or shift by 40 i'm choosing the fill here instead of you going to the fill and adjusting it you can adjust it by keyboard shortcuts shift plus the number you're hitting on the keyboard now abdurahim or one two graphics designer um, I can do this like poster, posters, design, uh, brochure, design, and business card. Uh, sorry, <laughs> business card designs. Yeah, design. Uh, we can do the UI and UX experiencing experience. And that's it and many more yeah no many more is you what you do is you just express it to the customer what you you do it you can put everything on the poster like many things you can do that like you just need a, a simple poster so as somebody can just know what you're doing like this one you can do it here now it's time for using ellipse you can use ellipse now going to the ellipse you can hit the U on your keyboard now finding ellipse tool is very easy you just hold shift and the U on the keyboard then change it instead of you right clicking it and many more stories no we can just use that now I can duplicate this duplicating is holding alt on the keyboard and drag drop it down again drag on the drop it down drag and drop it down like a mixtape song now this one here it's done we're done with it now Abdurrahim on to graphic designer um, contact us now we can do this one this is very simple one guys very simple one so as you can just see um, the way the the poster is made on the Photoshop and then we can adjust the colors keep it here simple color like this one you can keep it here and we can do them contact us yeah, I can add my phone number. Yes. Yep. We can zoom in a little bit, like this one here. Then I'll do this one. Contact. Contact. I can give you contact. Changing the color to black so as it can bring. A meaning on the color now I can keep it here and um, then I can add my phone number class 255 that's my number code 7825237 or you can add like 7820000 depending on your number phone number you're using it so I can click here then I can drag drop it here since if I'm using two phone numbers then I can keep it there now that's a simple layout but doesn't look that much great yet now we can do this one and uh, we can resize them a little bit a little bit then we can resize this shape the rectangle shape to be a little bit um, great now I can change the opacity a little bit of opacity yep yep now that looks very great now let me go and find my logo the logo which I've been using it this is my logo where is it uh, it is then I can take this logo and I can keep it somewhere there now I can add social media icons now uh, social media icons is very interesting because you're using just font you just, you just get surprised on the font I font icon actually i got this font on da font it's called type icon type icon i'll be leaving a link down below so what how does it work you just hit the i for instagram t for twitter f for facebook 
is for Snapchat and G for Google Plus. I find it's very related and very interesting. So Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Insta, and Google Plus. Now we can drag drop it here, and you can still customizing it like keeping colors all of them but you, if you want to change colors like Instagram they use a pinky color you can just select the Instagram and you can just go here so as you can see the changes and go to the pinky side this one you can select this one as you can see it changes the color now you can customize the colors as you want on the font which I find it's very legit now I'm having my icons here of um, um, social media icons and what's missing here I think nothing is missing here it's a very very simple design which somebody can get only content from it and nothing else and nothing else I know a lot of graphic design out there they'll be surprised and saying oh my what a design is this this is just a demo guys show you how the designs works so this is how the Photoshop CC 2018 works it just works just like the same Photoshop you can get many more features here we are having the essential mode you can change the mode if you want to and you can even um, use this one to share on the media so I find it's very legit you can add to Lightroom photos so if you are using Adobe Lightroom since I did install Adobe Lightroom you can just share on the Adobe Lightroom and you can still go and play with um, brightness saturation and many more still even here you can try playing with it okay if I want to play with saturation what I'll do is I'll hit shift control plus a on my keyboard or shift CMD plus A. Now you get this kind of white balance and stuff. Temperature you can control the temp temperature you want, like it can be warm and many more, like clarity, vibrancy, and many more. When you hit OK on the keyboard, and the changes will just appear on the go. So this is how the Photoshop CC 2018 works, guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you find this video very interesting about the Adobe Photoshop, I've been leaving a link down below so as you can go and check it out on the website. And it's even get released on other kind of website like torrent and many more if you want the download on torrent you can just heat it up and i'll be leaving a, a torrent uh, link down below so as you can check it out too. so thank you guys for watching if you find this video very interesting don't hesitate to drop a thumbs up if you find this video more interesting let me know in the comments down below and don't forget guys to subscribe because we're about to hit 250 subscribers so thank you all all of you who have supported me on my youtube channel and thank you all and thank you thank you guys a lot and don't hesitate to click the subscribe button so thank you guys for watching and i'll be catching you guys in the next one peace